ask you about your childhood. When you were a child, what did you want to be when you grew up? Professional baseball. Interesting. That was all I wanted. That was me. No plan B. No plan B, that's right. <laughs> I, I, you know, since I've got you on tape, let's talk about me. <laughs> from, from the time I was nine to 22, I played ball all the yeah, way up into yeah. college. Yeah. Yeah, but time from the time I was 10, 11, and 12, that to me was like the best time of my life, that little league season, oh, yeah, you know, when yeah. you could uh, always write with the world as long as your glove was intact <laughs> and you had good baseball <laughs> shoes, you know. Um, what position did you play? Well, I played a lot of positions, um, and that was part of my problem. Is I, uh, I loved the outfield because my hero was Willie Mays, but... That's right. Until you get up in years, the outfield is not significant of a position. You know, you actually, That's right. They tend to put uh, kids that can't play so well. So I, I would pitch because I had a very strong arm. And I'd play uh, shortstop or third base. I actually caught some my senior year only because they needed a catcher. And right. I, I could do it. But uh, That's what I did. Yeah, I, I played a lot of positions. I didn't play first base. I didn't play second, but I played most every other position. Well, let me ask you this. Why did you like it? What was it about it? I have no idea. You don't, you don't know? No, I mean, I did it well. Yeah. I'm, I'm sure if I stunk at it, I wouldn't like it as much, but, but I, I, was, I was good. Well, the reason I ask is that there's something about what we enjoy that's so connected to who we are and who the Lord's made us. Yeah, yeah. And so I'm interested in, um, in things like that. I think the Lord wants to help people recapture not their youth so much as what they feel felt from God, although yeah. they didn't know where it came from in their youth, and yeah, uh, yeah but there was something about hitting a baseball oh, a yeah. long way. Yeah, yeah. I love that too. That's, true. That's great. Yeah. What was your family like growing up? Your mom, your dad, you have brothers and sisters? Yeah, my, uh, I'm the oldest. Two years later is my sister Jackie, and then eight years later is my brother. Two years later is another sister. Right. So there's two sets of two. And um, so, you know, a lot of the earliest years, of course, were just just me and my sister. Right. And then, uh, then we had two more little ones come along. And, right. And uh, it, was, you know, it was good, good childhood, good, great parents, great family. So a lot of family stuff. Yeah, what was your dad like? Oh, he's uh, Mr. Mercy. Just a lot of wisdom. Very, um, uh, very uh, moderate. It's not the right word. Uh, he was. Uh, he, he was very. He was not excessive in anything. He was just very, very deliberate, uh -huh. very intentional in how he did life, and uh, very, very meticulous. Uh, he was a pastor, but he was also an extremely skilled musician. As as right. was my mom is my mom. What did he play? Well, he taught himself to play anything he wanted. My and goodness. he took, uh, as a, I don't know, 12, 13 years old, he took first place in the state of Minnesota for solo instrument, second in the United States as just a Good young night. kid. And that was trombone. But he, he could play any, anything he picked up. He, could, he would teach himself. And he ended up being a music teacher at a college and taught uh, quite a few different instruments. So. I mean, he was just really unusually gifted. He would lead orchestras, write the scores for the choirs and stuff like that. You know, you know, as a pastor, what, what would you call his life message? What would that be centered around? What, or what did you get from your dad? Well, the primary thing was worship. He was, uh, I will, I'll never forget when that revelation dawned on him. Then, of course, he passed it on to the rest of us, that we were primarily worshipers. And uh, and that change that revolutionized everything about our life. My. And he was he was that above everything else. He was a worshiper. My goodness. Yeah. 